やらら、やらら、やらら、やらら。I went to buy some camouflage pants, but couldn't find any. Get it? I went to buy some camouflage pants, but couldn't find any. Because they're camouflage. Hey, welcome back to our stupid drag season. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You fussing and spending. Hey, get away from my nipples. I block you. I block you. I block you. I defy you. <laughs> Today we got a video. This is Irfan Khan on Bollywood versus Hollywood. Hey! He says, Bollywood, better cocaine. Yes. Hollywood, better weed. Probably true. Bollywood, better nepotism. Hollywood, better racism. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Uh, actually, we don't see color. No. Uh, Just like dogs. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I always love a good insight from the late, great ear. Oh, my goodness, Khan. yes. Any and all content with that man makes Personally, me... Personally, I think I'm an actor on par with ear Khan. And Here we go. Bye, everybody. <laughs> First, I was looking for acknowledgement from my mother. When I didn't get it, I started looking, you know, outside of my, you know, surroundings. In our industry, we are... Uh, the center of the story is the image of the star. The films which I do in Hollywood, the, the center is the story, the power of the story. Yes. In the East versus West, are there different ways that we make films that, uh, that make you an actor in a different way? See, there are a few differences and they are very, you know, very important differences. Like, sometimes in our industry, we are, uh, the center of the story is the image of the star. Oh, deja vu. Whoa. And all the departments serve that image. Mm -hmm. All the characters around him serve that image. The, the films which I do in Hollywood. Story is king. The, the center is the story, the power of the story. You can take anybody, you know, from Tom Hanks to everybody, all the big stars, they are serving the purpose of the story. Yeah. Not the image of the star. Mm -hmm. So that changes everything. Because all the departments are working towards communicating that idea, that yes. story. Yes. And people bringing their own reflection, their own experience of their life to enhance that story. Mm -hmm. Not about serving a particular uh, 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 image yeah. or, you know, star's image. If you are not doing a conventional work, if you are not following conventional, uh, you know, uh, storytelling, you are made feel guilty about what you are bringing in a newness to the craft. Right, yeah. You are in pressure, yeah. you know, you are always like a threat. What, what is this guy doing? Why we are not being able to, you know, either you should come and serve yeah. our conventional uh, storytelling or you are an outsider, you are create, creating a kind of disturbance. At one point of time, I started my career as an actor because I was looking for acknowledgement. First, I was looking for acknowledgement from my mother. When I didn't get it, I started looking, you know, outside of my, you know, surroundings. And that somehow manifested into uh, you know, becoming an actor that, you know, I thought actor, you know, basically it was for acknowledgement. And then through, you know, after drama school and, you know, uh, after many years, I came to know this is not acknowledgement. It is, it is, a, it is an experience, you know, which you share with the audience and that becomes your, you know, uh, wealth. That is the most important thing. When you do a story, you pour in your life and you make the thing that, that that story an experience for the audience and that becomes an experience for the audience and that sharing is something which is uh which is so precious you know you cannot match that kind of uh, thing okay. so that is something you know very very uh, uh special to me as an actor yeah and uh sometimes i don't plan you know i, I rely on how nature you know uh, 
nudges you and you follow that and you know yeah. uh, see what's what's going to happen there are some buffer jungles you know uh, buffer forest uh, of jim corbett uh, right i don't want to tell the exact location because of you know so many things uh, <laughs> <laughs> And they are still pristine forest, you know, they are still untouched. All the poachers, you know, they find out things about Edward, but it's still, you know, they are forest like, you see a tree which has fallen down 20 years back, they're still there, it's getting, it's getting decayed, and you see that it's, there's not, uh, uh, not many people come there. Mm -hmm. In those kind of forests when you go and you know that, you know, after 50, after five meters, you don't know what is there. It's so dense. Yeah. So when you go there and uh, when you're walking around, you know, uh, on, on, on the river bank yeah. and you don't know what is there. Suddenly, you know, we were, we were there and uh, 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 a guy from, a uh, local guy was with us and he just has one stick. That's it. And there was a mound and after that there was a deep inside and as we you know climbed on that mound like you know 10 meters away uh there was this uh, tiger richard and parker growled he growled but because you know what happens when the tiger is there he uh, first you know he warns you yeah. then growls then when you are too close then he attacks with, with fright you know he doesn't attack because of you know some uh, because you know he is yeah. he's basically trying to save himself yeah. so Unfortunately, you know, we, the, the distance was too close. So he suddenly growled and he started growling. And then this guy panicked. The guy who was with us, the local guy, the he expert. panicked. The expert. He panicked <laughs> and he started growling at him. Oh. <laughs> and he growled in a, you know, he just shouted desperately because he knew if, if you know, this is, this is something, you know, we have gone, we have, we have, we have gone, uh, you know, we have crossed the limit. Too close for comfort. Too close. Because we didn't know. Uh, and then suddenly, you know, he backed up and he, he you know, he went away. So wow. The answer you have to start growling if you see. Uh, I think you have to. You you shouldn't go. Yeah, you should. You should. You shouldn't take away your eyes. Yeah. And uh, you know, you have to face it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That looks that was, like a that good was too quick. Looks like a good interview. <sighs> yeah. Miss that man every day. Yeah, and his uh, intellect in terms of the craft and and what he knows of it, and his perspective because not many people have that perspective. Have the perspective that he had, being able to tell you the the details and the nuances of work in both American cinema and Indian cinema. The yeah. way that he could. obviously he was talking about um, um, commercial. Hindi cinema is what he was talking about, yeah. about being centered around the star. Yeah. Because um, obviously, uh, as we know, it's, uh, with, the, with few exceptions, I think the two exceptions would be like Mahmoodi and Mohanlal in some of their films in terms of Malayalam cinema. That's a pretty story-driven industry, I feel like. Yeah. And obviously, there's much more smaller parts that have always been there in Hindi in industry with parallel cinema. Correct. And, and but that, that, that was a result of people... Wanting. wanting that who were like theater storytelling we want to be able to tell stories and not have it be the focus on just whoever the hero is yeah which yeah. is which is not a bad thing about uh, indian cinema. it's just a unique thing about indian cinema um well i'd love to have heard and maybe there's a video of it as well another differentiation is the approach to the craft both in the storytelling and in the acting of the 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 penultimate piece de resistance in Indian cinema for a long time and consistently still is emotion. Mm -hmm. Achieving an emotional state as an actor or getting an emotional response from the audience versus in American cinema, it's the emotion has to come from a place that's justified yeah. and that you don't do anything to the audience to manipulate the emotion. It has to come from a genuine place of them feeling something because you've created a believable reality for them mm -hmm. to empathize with. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, always great. Yeah, I wish that was longer. We need to get to another earphone film. Let us know what that should be down below. Just